Russell Sharp, uh, Chief Operating Officer for City Max Hotels. Okay. Good afternoon, and yep. thank, thank you for taking the time to speak to us. Um, we're here at Arabian Travel Market. Uh, it's a very exciting for your brand, a very exciting time for your brand. Um, you've uh, rebranded the logo and the design of the hotels. Can you tell us a little bit about that? Well, uh, you, you know we're um, a homegrown brand, and we've been around now for about five years, six years now. Um, when we originally started, we saw that there was a gap in the market, and we um, originally put the brand in that gap where people, especially families, wanted a safe environment and an efficient service and a, a really good price. Well, a lot has changed in five years now. You know, if you look around you, you see there's been a feeding frenzy in the mid-market brands, especially in Dubai, because with 2020, they said we need another 35,000 rooms in this segment. So we had to up our ante a little bit and we did some customer focus groups uh, and we asked our customer what they really would like to see in a mid-market brand. Uh, they came back and it was quite startling because what they said uh, is that we want to see nice bright colors, we want to see it IT focused, we want uh, the women were especially vocal about it because they said these rooms are not built for women, they're built for men. And when we looked at it, you know, they wanted long length mirrors, ironing boards, lights in the, in the bathroom of the, of the mirror, and so on and so forth. So we have now um, formulated the hardware, and then we, we thought to ourselves, well, we can't just finish there, we have to do the software. So the service delivery had to be, if you're mapping the guest experience, it always starts with service delivery. So we've changed that to now. And now uh, we've got a, a program called Go Beyond, which um, our customers and staff are engaged. Now, rather than just delivering a service, they're delivering the product and they're delivering smiles. So you're very much uh, ahead of the curve on the mid-market uh, here in Dubai then? Well, uh, we reckon that we'll give them a run for the money at least, you know, because um, we've seen this mix that has come into the market and we're not quite sure why or how they have formulated that they are three star, four star. You know, it's not a very clear definition over here. But the Dubai tourism, you know, they, as, as they um, have mentioned, their objective is to bring more rooms into the market because that's the, the part of the segment that seemed to be uh, lacking in the past. So I think that they will achieve that. And then perhaps they might move down to one and two star hotels. You know? So that's their objective to bring 20 million guests by 2020 for the Dubai Expo? Yeah, well, um, you've got to have a look at the demographics of uh, what's coming into Dubai today. You know, where the, if you look, there's a, a lot of uh, parks, new parks, amusement parks going up, but um, those amusement parks are targeted again at the mid market segments, you know, from out of India, Far East, Eastern Europe. So I think um, that the strategy is right, but uh, one has to look at what happens after 2020. And what about for the rest of the year for, for Cinemax? Can you talk us through the portfolio of properties you're offering and any yeah, additions to that? Yeah, we've, um, we're building another thousand rooms and that's going to be spread out between, uh, we've got one in Russell Kaima because we think Russell Kaima is up and coming. And then we've got um, a Business Bay property which is going to be a 400 rooms flagship. And something we've been talking to about uh, to every interview we've done so far is social media and the growing importance of that here in the Middle East. Is that an important social um, sales channel for you guys? You know, that's the future, right? Because um, our new customers, the millennial, as they say, or uh, the line between business and pleasure has been rubbed out. So you have the pleasure, you know, people who come in and do both. But what has really changed the whole equation is the online media. Because today, 
um, you will see that the consumer researches online, makes his decision on the hotel online, books online, and then comes and reviews the hotel online too. So for us, it's, it's the future. Everything's online now. Now everything's online now, yeah. Okay. It'll only be a matter of time before uh, they will also have reservations offices which is um, artificially intelligent um, driven so there won't be any people answering the phone except online. <laughs> well, that's an interesting point and thank you very much for taking the time to speak to us today Russell. Thank you.